folks at home welcome back to another fishing video man i feel like it's been a long time got my wife liz here with me with a secret bait we'll talk more about that in just a minute but it has been quite a while since we've been out on the lake especially for her it's been about a year because we've been busy we bought a new farm we're building our own five acre lake we'll talk more about the baits and the setup later but gotta go for now i'm itching to catch that first fish of 2021 got him there you go liz starting us off right our first fish of 2021 I hear you. About a pounder. <laughs> Felt good though to get a bite, didn't it? Thumped it. Got him. That was a good one too. He stopped it. I thought there was a little bit of grass on there. Oh yeah, we're starting out the year with a good one. Yes, sir. Oh, what a giant. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's the first fish of 2021 for me. Hey Liz, will you move that red cooler over? This is a giant. Man, what a butterball. Let's see if I can get her in. She's still fighting. All right, come on. <laughs> yes, sir. What a fat fish. I love it. Man, that's why you fish with that trailer hook, guys. It's the only reason I caught this fish. Jackhammer. What a chunk. That is unbelievable. Look how fat that fish is, my gosh. Oh, wow, guys, you can tell she was eating. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like a little tilapia tail or maybe a bluegill tail right there at the back of her throat. That's probably why she's so fat. What a chunk, guys. That is a healthy Bama bass right there. If I've ever seen one. Man, that is tough to beat that. Look at the belly on that thing. Full grown bluegill or tilapia in that belly right there. Man, I love it. All right, let's put her on the scale. Seven point. A little bit more. Seven point nine one. Not quite an eight pounder, but that's definitely the way to get it started. All right, we are going to let her go. Mm. She's ready. See ya. Well, what we're going to be doing out here today is fishing with one of the hottest baits on the planet. It won ICAST 2020. It's called the Jackhammer Stealth Blade. You can pick them up at BamaFrogs.com. There's going to be a link down in the description. So now let's talk about some of the key differences in this bait and every other chatterbait out there on the market. The first thing you're going to notice is that it has a clear blade as to where most other chatterbaits are shiny. Z-Man wanted to go with a stealthy approach. They basically made the blade invisible. So with your traditional chatterbait, you throw it on a windy day and use that heavy vibration to key the fish in. Well, with this bait... It puts off a very subtle vibration and they also trim the skirt down a little bit to make it have a slim profile. So there's two really good situations you would want to use this bait. One of them is when the bass aren't really chasing, maybe the water's cold and you're wanting a nice subtle approach. So the second scenario where you would want to use this bait is heavily pressured fishing lakes where fish have already seen a lot of chatterbaits because this is a completely different approach. Oh, we're on a little hot spot here. All of our action's coming right off this spot. Liz caught the little male. I've caught, gotten the two females and she got the little male bass, little buck bass. Nothing wrong with that though. Liz got her one. She keeps playing with the buck bass. Got it, another big one. 
I mean, I'm 10 feet down the bank from where I caught that last one and just hooked up with something that feels just as big as that one. Oh yeah, another fat one. This was not as big, but they're right here in that pre-spawn stage. I'm not really throwing up there at the bank, throwing more long parallel with it. There we go. Another fine fish right there. All right, Liz, you got to get you one of these. It feels great. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Get her back in. Got him. <laughs> we heard that old ooh from Liz. There you go. Good one. So a lot of you younger guys may be wondering why to ever throw something like a chatterbait or anything other than maybe just a plastic worm, but it's mainly because baits like these are search baits and you can cover so much water. And Liz and I aren't very familiar with this lake, especially you know during the spawn and this time of year. So imagine if you were going through here throwing a worm, it would take you forever to cover all of that area. But you can chunk and wind this, and then once you find an area that they're in, you can slow down, and if you like worm fishing or lizard fishing, you can kind of start pitching it around those areas. But it'll definitely cut down on the time that it takes to figure out where the bass are at and how they're positioned. Got him. Oh, getting a little bit bigger. Her Liz hooks with the hooks out on that one. That's a good one. Look at you. Getting a little bigger. It just looked a little too good not to throw top water back here, but Liz stuck to the pattern. Got a good one. Yeah. And that's when it's at full pool. Got it. Look at the little guy. Definitely some bassy looking stuff up in here. Even an old abandoned boat. Maybe it's not abandoned. Got that one in the top lip and the bottom lip. But the stealth is getting it done. Right now I'm using a half ounce. I have been bouncing around with the three eighths a little bit, but I do like the half on that stealth. Got him? Yep. There's a brush pile right down there. Rock pile and a brush pile. And a fish. <laughs> Good one. It's a two pounder, fighting. I bet you can get another one if you cast right off that little rock pile there. Maybe a little over two. Got him on the trailer hook again. Yeah, that one's a good bit greener. We're on a little hot spot. Good one. It's a rod that's been over. Oh yeah. Got him. Got him. What a butterball. Nice female. Guys, I can't tell you enough how much you need to get that trailer hook. It's a one alt gamagatsu. And all of our good fish today, brown on the belly, have come on the trailer hook. Nice one, Liz. He gone. And folks, here's a quick tip about rigging it up. You have to rig it up on the bottom of the lip 
as you see coming out through the bottom because if you hook it up if you were to just push that through and tie off right there you're not going to get any vibration so if you ever rig this up and it's not vibrating at all flip it over and tie it to the tie it underneath the tongue and that'll fix you up got one a little bit of brush how big is this one a little fatty kind of a weird spot I'm in right here I'm in between two islands and I caught this one right off the chunk of that right off the tip of that island ate it good it might be a male but you can see right there where the mud's on his belly he's sitting right there on the bottom waiting on a little shad to roll by Got it. An old stealth blade getting it done. Man, it feels great to get that light again, especially after not getting it for a while. They're all little fatties. Perfect little imitation of a shad. I like this color. I think it's called a clear water shad and it's got that red right there up under the lip another thing i really like about the jackhammers all of them they list what weight it is right there on the bottom of the bait i don't recall having any luck on this bank last two years ago here's one right here i don't talk about any bites We caught a lot of them that size in that two to three pound range. This one's getting up a little bit fatter. Look at that little brown belly. They're all sitting right there on the bottom. Got him. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up this video. One last look at the two baits we use. That's the normal jackhammer, and this is the new Stealth Blade with a Kitek 4-inch sight flash swim bait and a one alt Gamagatsu hook. This trailer was a little dipper in the lime ice color behind that chartreuse and white jackhammer, so definitely two killer baits during that pre-spawn and spawning time of the year. Folks, hope you all enjoyed this video. We got just a little bit of daylight left we're gonna get out here and see if we can catch one on top water i gotta at least give it a shot hope y'all enjoyed this one see you all next time